Hello and welcome back to an EverQuest guide on bags. I got a request from uh, some viewers in uh, the comment section asking for information on bags. I started researching it. I was going to put something together and then I found this page right here on Alakazam. And it goes over just about every bag in the game. So I want to take a minute. I'll link this in the description, but I want to take a minute and kind of go through uh, the different ways to get bags, right? Um, uh, this does not include some of the earlier, uh, game bags, like, uh, the handmade backpack you can make with tailoring, the, uh, backpack you can buy from the vendor. I think this is like 12 slots and higher as is kind of where this list goes. Cause you can buy a bag of tinkerers, uh, for 5k and, uh, things like that. So, uh, those aren't included in this list. Uh, I have a few other tabs up here that, uh, that might cover those but we'll see here uh but for the you know there's the category of you know the dropped bags right these are dropped from mobs uh 12 slots and higher you can see here random tll zones you get a zelenac hide sack right and that's kind of consistent through like all the expansions there's always a drop bag or in the case of reign of fear there's four <laughs> one per zone uh, so, you know, it's, it, it, they're, they're rare. Uh, I've gotten a few here and there, but I wouldn't be like, I'm going to go get the Fey bag of carrying because your chance of getting it is very low. You could probably buy it, uh, from a player or, uh, whatnot, but that's kind of thing. And you can see that the drop, the highest drop bag goes up to 40 slots. And then there's, there's crafted. These are, uh, you know, obviously higher than 12 slots. Starting all the way, way back at Gates of Discord, uh, you can craft a 14 slot bag all the way up to a 20 slot bag in the Call of uh, the Forsaken. And then it's not hard to make, right? Like, I, I have so many of these materials, I can make these for days because that's how easy those materials are to get. So it just requires uh, probably 300 plus uh, tailoring. Uh, and then when you buy each of the collector's editions, there's an opportunity to get a bag. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the current Knight of Collectors, Knight of Shadows collector's edition is a 42 slot bag. Terror of Luckland was also 42. So you can kind of see that bag slots are getting larger and larger. And then, so for there's a loyalty merchant in uh, Plane of Knowledge. And then each expansion, I guess, starting in uh, Empires of Kunark has a vendor. On that vendor, they sell a bag. Uh, one bag, it's lore. You can only get it once, you know, one per character, right? Like uh, in uh, COV and Western Waste, you can get the Coldane Miner's Sack. It's a 40 slot bag. Uh, 750 Restless Marks. Restless Marks are the currency from the expansion, just like Scarlet. Marks and Shaded Spices are the, you know, specific expansion uh, currency for group content, that is. And then in Plain of Knowledge, at the Loyalty Merchant, using your loyalty points that you get uh, for every uh, every month you're subscribed, you get a few points, I guess. I don't, I don't know the exact way it works. It's totally unknown to me, but uh, all my characters max it out really quick, <laughs> so... Uh, you can go there and every month that she has, a, she sells a different 16 slot bag. So I don't know if it's worth it. I would probably buy the platinum and uh, change it for uh, a bag in another way. That might take more work, but if you're in a pinch, you need a 16 slot bag. You know, there you go. You probably have that if you if you've had your account for more than a, a month. Uh, and then the raid currency. Uh, just like the group currency up here also has a bag you can buy. Uh, you can see here the top bag right now is a 46 slot bag. And that comes from the Night of Shadows raid currency. So each one has their own. Uh, these all require more than one player to get to acquire. So this is kind of like, uh, you know how back in the day, uh, Lord Nagafin and Lady Vox would drop, uh, you know, their bags. Uh, this is kind of the same concept. I believe some of them actually drop on raids, but same concept is everybody can buy the bag. You raid enough, you get the currency just for showing up, right? That's your kind of 
showing up price and uh eventually you can buy your own back i uh, see here and then these ones drop from specific raid chests and these are uh uh let's see house of thule uh this is the nagafin uh one of the nagafin events uh and then TBM. So TBM has a 40 slot bag in the raid, which is kind of nice. If you can go, <laughs> if you can get enough characters together to go take that out. But you know, there's 16 slots, so they're kind of small. Uh, let's see here. These are quested bags right here. Uh, it doesn't include all the quested bags in the game, but uh, it inc covers a lot of them. Uh, so, you know, completing achievements usually ends up you get a bag, right? Kill a bunch of mobs, get a bag. Kill, you know, do a bunch of achievements, get a bag. So there's one for uh, completing all the achievements in VOA. Uh, available Aris. And uh, the the uh, anniversary events have bags. There's a Satchel Superstitial. So if you do the 13th anniversary task, which is currently, I believe, available right now in uh, Plane of Knowledge. Uh, Courier Favor, that's another 20 slot bag. It's not that hard of a quest, it's just a tedious of a quest. I don't think I've ever done it, because you have to be a good race. But you do some, I mean, it's, it fits on one page, right? <laughs> it's not too bad, but you gotta do some work. Uh, and then the other ones are just quested and so whatnot. And then, these are from Hunters. So this, as I said, you kill stuff, you get bags, so you can get the random bag. But if you kill every named in every zone, you get... Uh, bags uh, like here just right uh, so if you kill all the slayers in night uh, night of shadow you get a 48 slot back <laughs> kill all the ones in shadow of uh, Sh terror of luckland you get another bag now if you do the sub part of uh, like it, it doesn't you don't have to do them all right there's sub tasks to this this quest right and if you kill in those three zones you get another bag 44 slot and that's night of shadows and this kind of just extends through uh and you can see some of these zones have mult i mean expansions some of these expansions have multiple multiple opportunities to get bags right they're all sorted Poorly. <laughs> let's, let's just sort them this way, right? Let's so you can see here in uh, Veil vale Volaris, there's five different bags ranging from 30 slot to 38 slot. In uh, Terror of Lucklin, there are four opportunities from 38 to 46 slot. And where is the current expansion? Night of Shadows. There is four opportunities from 40 slot to 48 slot. A 48 slot bag. That's two slots more than the raid bag so definitely there is opportunity out the wazoo to kill named mobs and get bags uh i would pair this with the event that they do where more more names spawn and just work your way across the zone as fast as you can uh if you have multiple characters and it's trivial content right and you you can leave a character in a spot and you can group him with other characters so i can have like say no regard in uh in uh what is it? runes of shadow haven right i could have tuani and powdrill depths right they both should share those achievements if i'm not mistaken because you get the achievement out of zone because if you die during the fight you still get the achievement right so uh you can kind of cheese it that way and you know have all your you know six characters one in each different zone kill a named right and uh it's pretty uh it's a pretty interesting uh way to get these right i know in the tawani series we did a lot of the house of thule i know i got this bag and i got almost done with that bag right just going through the video series and then i, I kind of zoomed through the other zones but uh you know it's it's de definitely worth it if you want to spend that extra time in these older zones to uh to get the uh all the hunter achievements and then they have uh scavenger <laughs> scavenger achievement so these are the shiny collectibles you know like every video i see a shiny i go pick it up right um uh, and that there's a reason for that right it all ends up with a bag 
<laughs> you get all the ones in uh, COV, you get it back, right? Like, all the way back to uh, Call of the Forsaken, it looks like. Uh, yeah. Wait, it skipped a few. It skips the Kunark ones, it looks like. Unless that's the Kunark one, I just can't understand the name. TDS, I don't know what... The Dark and Sea, yeah. Uh, that's probably wrong then, because that should be Empire's Kunark, and that should be Broken Mirror, and that should be Dark and Sea, so there's a typo right there. That's why. Uh, but yeah, it's simple, you know, go in here, c collect all those things, like, let's look at the Night Seeker achievement real quick. It's not terribly difficult. You can probably do it, uh, you know, you can do it with these really easy as a rogue, for sure, because a rogue isn't seen by anything. Ah, I clicked the wrong one. Uh, Padrols to Charlevoix. There we go. And so there's, you know, you break these all down, right, into the, into the, whatever. And you just go collect eight pages per. And you get 18 AAs. <laughs> like, for each of these collection events you finish, you get 18 AAs, right? So it's definitely worth your time to collect all the collectibles and all the expansions and uh, get those free bags. I mean, a 44 slot bag for doing all the ones in Knights of Shadow. That's crazy. Crazy. Uh, let's see here. These are sold on the marketplace. Uh, once a year, they do an event that lowers the price of these. Like, so this is a, it's a thousand, it's like 500. So they lower the price significantly on these, uh, at some point in time and you can get multiple of them. And I believe all these, most of these bags are heirloom and no trade on normal servers on Verona Vi. They're all tradable. So keep that in mind, except for the vent, the, the marketplace ones. Those are always no trade, no matter what. Uh, but there's different options here. Like, I mean, that's you know, a lot for bags, right? Six, uh, 66 bucks, uh, or whatever that equates to, but you know, there's different options and, uh, every TLP has two bags that come out. The, uh, like the current one is the trying toxicologist bundle, which includes a trying trunk. And then there's the, uh, vexing vermin bundle, which includes a vexing vase, and some, you know, other things like experience potions, res tokens, buff potions. And then you can buy a pack that has them both in it. So this uh, roguish ripscallion pack contains the... Okay, okay. So I was... I'm not confused. <laughs> what they're doing, uh, that the, the, e, the bags right here, like this is the old one. This is the current one. So every TLP they have a bag like so you can kind of see it here so it's you know 20 bucks and 34 bucks 34 dollars includes this one here and uh so it's like both of these for 34 or just this one for 20 and you can buy this one here twice so if you have like multiple characters on the same account that want extra bags you can buy this one and get those two 40 slot bags and then buy another one it's lore but so but you can still buy it again uh if you want to and then the roguish ones were the the last uh the mischief tlp launch and then there was bags before that for each of the different expansions sorry i got confused and then the house of thule collector's edition i highly recommend this uh if you're looking to spend money on the game right here uh this for 40 dollars, you get a 20 slot and a 16 slot back now at first that sounds like totally weak right uh but these are 999 claimable. <laughs> so every character you make, you can put these two bags on, right? And you start on a fresh TLP, you can put these two bags on it, right? It's it's nice. It also comes with some other goodies, but I highly recommend the House of Thule Collector's Edition. It comes with two mounts too, so uh, you can have an initial mount like on the the moon kid series i use these two bags plus the mounts that's how i got that going really quick without doing it and you also get these uh mercenaries mercenary skins if you will if you want to use those all right so i highly recommend the collector's edition of house of thule i'm not paid i'm not sponsored but i highly recommend it and then uh, trade skill components. There's bags specifically to hold those. Um, I use these extra planar ones because they're fairly easy to make. Uh, the recipe is like 
like almost free <laughs> uh, extra planar silk uh, fantastic animal pelt uh, reinforced filament so like two of the items are bought from a vendor and fantastic animal pelt can come from the overseer stuff and extra planar silks they drop quite a bit in the house of thule and vale of Alaris, uh zones so while you're going through there you should get a bunch of them i have like a stack of them <laughs> Uh, on uh, Nomagard just from like all the characters I've played through but they're easy to make I usually keep two uh two to four of them on each of my characters uh as trade skill only slots and they hold only trade skill items they don't hold anything else which uh kind of makes it easier to kind of sort all that stuff and now you can take those bags and you can if you have the trade skill depot from Night of Shadows you can take your bag and put it in the trade skill depot and it'll take all the items out of the bag and put them in the trade skill depot. It's the sweetest thing in the world. Uh, someone left a comment on that after my trade skill depot video, but it makes it easier to put those items and sort them out of your bag really quick. Uh, you can also buy some from the, the, the marketplace. There's a 40 slot one. I bought one of these once because it was really cheap and it's unfortunate. I can't get it off a character that's a free to play account now. So it's, you know, one of those things like that, right? So I, I typically just stick with these extra planar ones. I might eventually upgrade to the 40 slot ones. I might actually just do this quest right here, or this achievement, uh, and do the hunter achievement in Reign of Fear, but uh, I think there's Reign of Fear. Might be a different one. Uh, that might be called, yeah, that's called the Forsaken, Never mind. I might go do that and uh, get a, get one for free. But uh, you can also buy them for a thousand cash, which they go on sale every once in a while during different events. Plus, you get a you, you get a discount if you're a gold member. Uh, and then there's some collectible bags uh, that are available. There uh, that only hold collectible items, which would be those collectible collectible items above. Uh, I don't feel these are as needed on your character. Uh, maybe in your bank if you wanted to, but. Uh, with the trade skill depot now and the other uh, uh, dragon horde, I don't feel this is as necessary uh, bag wise, and it can kind of make sense because they haven't really updated it <laughs> since the uh, these you know older quests and stuff. But you can buy one in the marketplace. Uh, you can quest one from the Reign of Fear. Uh, Forty slot doesn't go very far, honestly, uh, but it is a thing there. If you want that i usually click them and send them to a next character i i keep my i don't keep collectibles on anybody i uh if i get multiple like i did the boat one for uh stomples day i think it is it's like go get the boats in stone hive no those brew day the brew day brew day collectibles i got all the extra i got extras i sent them all to tawani i was like i'm not <laughs> i got them all done on uh, normal grad i sent the rest to tawani like she'll have those she clicks them and if there's any left, I'll send them to the next character, right? That's how I do it, but... And then if if they get all the way back to Nomar Guard, I put them in my house. Uh, and that opens us up into the next section, right? There are crates you can buy to increase the item storage of your house. Uh, the achievement ring of scale master scavenger will give you 200 extra slots for your house. And the fear slayer... Expert Hunter of the Heart of Fear will give you another 100 slots for your house. So this is a crate you can put in your house, and it gives you extra slots. It'll give you an extra 500 to, like, you know, you get 500 total. Uh, 300 are placeable items only, so you can place items in the world. So you have some cool items you want to just place down, you can do that. 200 are non-placeable, so you could put in, you know, like your collectible items you don't want, or old items, you know. That's what I use it for. I have uh, three houses that are just absolutely full of collectible items from uh, just random stuff that I have that I haven't been able to get rid of. But that, that's, a, that's a pretty good overview of all the bags uh, on Alakazam. Uh, there's some different bags here on uh, everquest.fanra.info. This, uh, this one covers some of the older uh, older bags and a few of the other ones. Uh, you can kind of see them here. I'll link all these in the description. Uh, some different tailored ones, I think, and then whatnot. And then on paullynch.org slash EQ guide slash guide slash bags, he goes over some different bags. 
and he, he kind of goes into it a little bit more detail uh you know there's he names out some easy quests right here like the sturdy traveler pack the featherweight bag and the ore haulers so these aren't meant i don't think these are mentioned in the alex exam because they're not high slots and he just goes over some different ones here uh i'll link this one too and then on eq traders I couldn't find a direct, these are all the bags, but if you look at tailoring and you go to like, uh, like it says basics and bags, but I didn't see any bags here. Um, some of these are just pelts, <laughs> so there's no bags in this list for that I could tell. But what you want to do is like go through here and, you know, you're a tailor, so let's do house, like click the under foot, let's go back, let's go, let's go Veil vale Valeris. Right, you can kind of go through here and see uh, all the different items that are craftable. They're all tailor made. So here we go. Here's a tr trade satchel. Oh, this is that uh, no trade, uh, com tradable trade skill components only bag. Right, you can kind of see it here. So you just got to go through and look through and see what you can find <clears throat> in the different uh, in the different expansions and see what you can tailor. Uh, the Overseer is a good source of these trade skills items for old expansions uh, to make that possible. And then uh, this one is everquest.com forward slash packs. Uh, this is where they sell the current packs that are available. And I, I know I go out of my way. I buy these every time. Uh, I feel I, I feel like I should support the game a little bit more because I, I do make money off the game, right? I make videos. Uh, and so I try to buy all the stuff that I can just to give back. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I have all these all these bags on all my characters and I, I buy these this expansion for all my accounts. So it's it is what it is. Uh, I, I like having bags and it's, it's one of the things I think I mentioned in one of my series, right? Like if I didn't buy bags, I'd be spending half my time doing bag management and stuff like that like inventory management is is real like especially with all these trade skill items right i can do one overseer <laughs> session and my bags would be full if i didn't have bags and so i i try to go out of my way to get as many bags as i possibly can when i make new characters and i don't even consider them as anything else like i i start characters with 40 slot bags like i don't make a character until i have at least four or five of them <laughs> just laying around i can do right like i'm gonna make new characters for a new series as soon as the next bags come out because i already i already have these ones and i can't i can't uh i can't i don't have enough of them <laughs> so I, I don't it's just just the way it is right so uh but you know it's interesting and uh i you know this question comes up a lot you know what are all the bags and this is this is the most comprehensive list i've seen uh it is missing some older stuff uh i don't maybe they're not craftable anymore but i know halflings could craft uh 10 slot uh, 100 percent weight reduction bags and uh nagafin and vox both drop bags uh so do all the kunark dragons so there's things in here that aren't listed, but I think this had a cutoff at like 12 slots. So there's some like 10 slot packs you can get your hands on early on in the game. But if there's any more questions uh, related to that, I mean, so you I can wait, hold on. Uh, you can get these like deluxe toolkits. I do. I did see that right here as like your entry starter bag. Uh, this is something that gets recommended to me because I always use the eight slot backpacks. Uh, you can use like uh, deluxe toolboxes. They're 10 slot bags that hold giant capacity. You can buy those and plane of knowledge and crescent reach and have bags immediately if you want. But I don't buy these because I usually make gnomes and it pops up the trade skill dialogue and stuff like that. So it's a little annoying. Uh, you can get like sewing kits, I think, too. But uh, I, I don't know. I go at this point in the game, I just go for the big bags and I get what I can. Like I have uh, like 20,000 of these uh, tokens for COV and like another 20,000 for uh, TOV, right? So I can go buy two of those bags for every single one of my characters. <laughs> like I, I'm at a different level than some people. So it's my experience and what I do is different. 
uh, than the other people. So uh, if you're starting out fresh, they're only like one platinum each, but the Deluxe Toolbox is good. I don't really like the mixing bowl, but it works too. I usually just go for the generic eight slot bags from uh, the uh, uh, bag merchant in Crescent Reach. Uh, you can also craft uh, 10 slot handmade backpacks, uh, which aren't listed on here, uh, from one high quality bear pelt and I think something else. Uh, it's really easy to make and it's really low, like a sub 100 uh, tailoring required on that. And I made those on uh, on uh, Yellowneck for uh, for my characters. I made a lot of those bags. But yeah, there we go. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.